What do y'all suggest comics who still haven't reached the quitting your day job phase do to further their careers in comedy during this pandemic? What do y'all suggest comics who still haven't reached the quitting your day job phase? Uh, I mean, look, this pandemic, I wish I could, you know. Well, this the pandemic aside, what do you what would you say? Oh, I was, uh, was going to say, I don't know, you did comedy during the Spanish flu, Brian. What did you guys, <laughs> what kind of shows did you guys do back then? Uh, uh, well, the pandemic's what makes it unique. I mean, that's, as far as if there's no pandemic, I mean, you got to just keep going and you'll know when to quit. I mean, you'll know when you can quit. Uh, I remember Ben Bailey, uh, who hosts Cash Cab, uh, and I remember Ben was, cause he was one of the guys that didn't quit his day job until he had to. And so he lived by that motto and the fact that other comics want to quit. I mean, quitting your day job is a prideful thing when you're like, I'm making enough money that I can quit my job. But the, some comics lived by the, they didn't want to quit the job. They were like, well, I'm going to keep it until I can't. Cause why would you not just keep making the money and you can save up more money and it, I think it's it can go either way. I mean, some guys, I think, quit. Some guys hang on too long, and I don't think they, they jump in enough. But if you can do your day job and then be doing shows every night and no one even knows you have a day job, that's how you got to do your day job. you got to do it to where nobody knows you even have it. It can't be affecting your life. I would see people, new comics, that would be, I would be like, when can you go on stage? And they would like wait tables at night, and they're like, well, I can't go up you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays because i got to work at night. You're like, that's got to stop. You got to quit that job and find a job during the day that you can go up every night. If you're trying to make it, if you want to make it, because as always, you're not owed this thing about being stand up. That's a big, I think comics think they're owed something and they think, well, I, I, I shouldn't have to work. Why do I have to work? Why do I have to be like, because no one cares that you're doing comedy. No one cares that I do comedy. So I have to constantly just try to do as good enough to make people want to watch it. Everybody does. If you're, it's not a regular job. You're trying to win the lottery. If you're lucky and you win the lottery, then you get to live in a maze. It's, it's crazy. But that's what's fun about the risk of starting comedy. You might not ever pan out to anything. And you might, and then you might pan out to be Jerry Seinfeld. That's what's wonderful. Seinfeld wasn't promised that. He didn't enter a program that led him to, you know, it's not, it's not a regular job. It's, you know, like athletes, they're not, you know, they're trying to make it. They give it all, hope it works out. If it doesn't, if it does, then you live a unbelievable life. If it doesn't, then you go do whatever you got to do. Go back to a regular life, you know. Uh, but during the pandemic, I mean, you know, it's like hard to keep writing stuff. I mean, sure, you can, you, you know, got to think outside the box and make videos and just feed, you just do what you, I don't know, further your career, it's like, don't try to just look, do this time to ask people for stuff to give you. Figure out a new thing, whether it's making videos or whatever you can do, but just take charge and be like, what can I do to build my career up or to build my people being aware of me? Uh, starting a podcast. Do, I mean, do something. Don't just think. It's when you look out and you're looking for an answer from someone. When you, uh, if, if, if you're sitting there during this pandemic and you're going like, Someone needs to do something for me. And then go do something for yourself. You can put anything you want out. Maybe it's not going to get the traction you want. Then keep doing it. Keep making it better. Like it's, it can get the traction. If it's good enough, it will get the traction. Go do be on TikTok and figure that out. Go whatever the new formula is. Try to write stuff and try to be funny and try to give something to people to watch. That, that stuff works. So you got to go do it, but you got to do it yourself. You can't be asking I mean, he can ask this question, but you can't be relying on someone to be like, well, no one's giving me work. I mean, I, you know, when we go on the road, I, when you first start and you're like, well, no one's booking me. I can't. You're like, well, that's going to, that's So that's going to stop you. And some people it does stop because they want the excuse to be like, they didn't make it. So they want to be able to be like, well, no, it was political. No one would book me. You're like, well, I mean, no one booked anybody. I didn't get booked. No one would book me. You know, no one booked anybody. And you just, I was around. You stay around. Yeah. That's when guys would, I remember guys would move to New York and move back and they'd be like, ah, New York is, I didn't like it. It was, it's all political, whatever. You, you didn't make it, dude. You didn't yeah. give it a chance. Yeah. So don't downplay all the other people that did make it through New York. No one did anything any different. No one was 
you know, when I moved to New York, I was a Christian from the South, the opposite of everybody that moved to that city. And, you know, but I just stuck around. I just hung out, been 17 years, just hanging out, being around, keep doing comedy, keep trying to get better, watch other comics, try to get a lot, you know, it's like, you're not promised anything. Like that's the, when, when you choose a career, any career, singing, acting, it could be anything. You're not promised anything. You know, you're not, when I was reading water meters, that was my, where I was going to go back to just a job for the County for Wilson County. And I, it would have been fine. Mm-hmm. I would have done that. But that's a job that you're, I feel like I'm reading water meters. I, I should, I'm owed insurance and owed <laughs> like, you know, $40,000 a year, whatever it is. You know, it's like the year, that's a job that you can be like, well, you have a boss and you have whatever. It's, it, you got to have that mentality to, you know, I don't want anybody to, I never wanted to not be able to get something because someone was in my way. You know, that's when, when I was doing these, when I was in New York doing all those comedy clubs, that's when I moved to LA. It's like, I never wanted to be like so reliant on someone else for work. I wanted to be able to create my own thing that I don't, you don't want to be just, well, I only get up because if this person lets me and if all your, you know, stuff is in that bucket, I don't know that saying either. What's all your, there's some bucket saying. Eggs in one basket? Eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah. Or in a bag. Or in a bag. Your bag. I like bucket. Yeah. Don't put all your rocks in one bucket, is what I'm saying. <laughs>